This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Today I'm showing you how to pull that off in After Effects. Step by step, no crazy plugins, no stress. We're talking cinematic vibes, moody textures, smooth text reveals. And the best part, even beginners can follow along. Let's roll the intro. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Film Title. Since we are making it look like a film, I am using a wide cinematic frame so the resolution will be 1920 by 822 pixels. I am also using a cinematic frame rate, which is 24 frames per second. Once all the settings are done, hit OK. The first step is to import the audio file. I am using a cinematic music track that I downloaded from Storyblocks. Press the L key two times to open the waveform and preview the audio. This one sounds great, I like the vibe. Now here's the important thing. If you really want your intro to look cinematic, the footage has to match the vibe. Low quality clips just won't cut it. That's where Storyblocks comes in. I use them all the time because I get unlimited downloads of super high quality 4K and HD footage, cinematic B-roll, sound effects, music, everything under one simple plan. And it's not just stock clips. They've got thousands of ready-made templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, and even DaVinci Resolve. Plus, you can access the entire Storyblocks stock library directly within Premiere Pro and After Effects with the Storyblocks plugin for Adobe Creative Cloud. Super handy. The best part? Everything you download is royalty-free, so no copyright headaches. Big thanks to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head to storyblocks.com slash Parker or click the link in the description. The video clip I am using is in 4K resolution, so let's scale it down. I am setting the scale to 50%. This is the clip that has a nice camera movement and we are going to use it for the intro. I want to start the animation from this point, so I will move the timeline to the start position, then go to the five second mark and set the end area. This way we are focusing only on a five second clip, which is perfect for a cinematic intro. Now let's add some texture on top of the video to give it more depth. Create a new solid layer and call it texture. Then click on the width and height fields and type star two at the end of both values to double their size. This will make the texture layer larger than the composition, which is what we want. Now hit okay and solo this layer so we can focus on it. Now go to the tools and select the fractal noise effect. Apply it onto the texture layer and let us begin adjusting the settings. First, change the fractal type to smeary. Then set the contrast value to 180 and the brightness value to minus 60. Also, enable the invert option to get a more defined and dynamic look. Next, open the transform section inside the fractal noise settings and change the scale value to a lower number like 40. You can make it larger if you want, but increasing the size will only expand the texture, which we do not need here. Now go back to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the Turbulent Displace effect. Add it right below the fractal noise. Set the amount to a higher number, something like 170, to give more distortion to the texture. You can also tweak the brightness and contrast inside the fractal settings if needed to get the exact texture look you're aiming for. Next, change the blend mode of the texture layer. If you don't see the Blend Mode tab, right-click on the layer area, go to Columns and Enable Modes. Then change the blend mode to screen. This will allow the texture to blend nicely with the video layer underneath. Let's unsolo this layer to see the change we did. Now we need to animate this texture so it moves along with the camera motion in the video. Now I am not going to use the camera to add movement. I can do that simply by adding keyframes to the position. Make sure you are at the first frame. Open the position property of the texture layer and add a keyframe. Then go to the five second mark and change the position value just enough to simulate motion that matches the original video. This will make the texture feel more dynamic and natural. Now I wanna add a zoom in effect as well. 
so that it can match the camera movement of our video clip. So open the scale and add a keyframe to it. Let's place this keyframe at the first frame. At the five second mark, I am going to change the scale value to 110%. Let's play it and see how it looks. I think I need to increase the scale value. So go to the end keyframe position and change the scale value to 120%. This will create a gradual zoom that adds depth to the overall scene. Great, now let's make a duplicate of this layer to enhance the depth. With the duplicated layer selected, go to the effects in the presets and in the fractal noise, open transform and change the scale value to 120. Now I am also changing the layer scale as well to get parallax movement. Go to the end frame and change the scale value to a higher number, something like 160%. To focus only on the textures for now, let's hide the original video layer and mute the audio. We will turn them on later in this tutorial. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Cool, I like it. Now make another duplicate of the texture layer. This time, delete the fractal noise effect from it because we will try something different. Go to the effects and presets and apply CC Starburst to this layer. Make sure it is placed on top of the Turbulent Displace effect. You can hide Turbulent Displace temporarily to see the Starburst more clearly. Set the scatter value to 400 to spread the particles and set the size to around 30 to keep it subtle. Turn the Turbulent Displace back on and this is how it looks now. I think the Starburst is moving too fast, so let's reduce the speed value to zero so it stays static. Check the animation and this is how it looks now. Cool, I like it. Now change the scale value of this layer as well, something like 130%. It will now move differently compared to the previous textures and add more parallax effect to the overall scene. This layering technique gives the intro a rich and cinematic feel. Great, I like this one. Now I am keeping these keyframes linear because it will match better with the camera movement. Let's minimize all the layers and turn on the video layer. Check the preview and it is looking much better. Now let's improve the look even more by changing the blend mode. Select all the texture layers and change the blend mode from screen to color dodge. This will hide some particles, enhance the shadows, and only show the textures in the light areas, which I think looks really nice and cinematic. Now let's add the text. Go to the tools and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen and type your text. I am going to keep the main title in a large font and add a smaller subtitle below it. By the way, I am just showing you the way. The destiny is yours, you can keep a different font you like. But for this tutorial, I am going with this Teco font. You can position this text wherever you want, but I like to place it slightly off-center for a more cinematic layout. So that's what I'm gonna do. Instead of adding scale, we can animate the position to make it look more natural. So go to the beginning and add a keyframe to the position, then move to the five second mark and change the position value to slightly move the text upward. This gives a nice slow motion to the title. Now let's add some animation to the text to make it even better. I wanna keep it simple. So go to the effects and presets panel and search for simple choker. Apply it to the text layer. We will choke this text. Let's keep the choke mat value to 26. Make sure your text completely hides at this value. Now add a keyframe at the beginning, then go to the one second mark and change the choke mat value to zero. This will create a smooth reveal animation. Now open the keyframes and adjust them if required to get a better timing. Check the animation and this is looking much better. Of course, you can experiment with different types of animation, but for a cinematic style, I'm keeping it simple. Select the choke mat keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them for a smoother motion. Great, this is looking much more polished now. Let's move forward and make the second slide. Instead of adding another text on this slide, I am going to create a fresh variation. So in the project window, select the film title composition and make a duplicate of it. Now double click on this new composition and we can make all the changes here without affecting the original one. First, hide the current five second video layer and import a new video file to use for this slide. Change the scale value as needed so it fits the composition properly. Now in this layer, the video looks a bit brighter compared to the previous one, so I am going to adjust it using curves. Go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for curves. Apply it to the video layer, 
and adjust the curve shape to make the image slightly darker. This gives a consistent tone across all slides. Now we are going to replicate the movement of the shot in the texture. So open your texture layer and remove all the keyframes which we have added earlier. Make sure you are at the first frame, then add a keyframe on the position and move your texture according to the camera movement. In this case, I am going to move it slightly to the right and downward, following the flow of the video. Great, let's hide the video layer now so that we can fully focus on the texture animation only. I am going to do the same for all my texture layers. Remember that each layer should have a slightly different timing in the position animation so that it creates a nice parallax effect and adds depth to the scene. If required, you can always adjust the movement values to match the camera movement more accurately. This might take a few clicks, so I am fast forwarding this step to save some time. I'm making some random changes to their positions to add more depth and make the scene look more interesting by creating some depth into the scene. Great, now let's open this text layer and rename it with something different. This time, I'm going to use it for music credits and the text will be my name. Let's change the font, style, and size to make it more subtle, something that fits well with the cinematic look. If you want a separate tutorial just for the text tool and its features, please let me know in the comments. I will make a dedicated tutorial on that. Now remove the existing position animation from this layer and place the text somewhere toward the bottom of the screen where it looks clean. Then make sure you are at the first frame and add a keyframe on position. Go to the five second mark and adjust the position again to follow the camera movement of our video. Great, now this text also feels like it's part of the scene. So by following this method, you can create a cinematic style film title intro very easily. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Until then, good luck and peace.